Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at the 2022 edition of the Winston Churchill limited edition. This is the limited edition 2022. As you can see, it is really nice to look at. This is a five and seven eighths by 61 perfecto. And according to Davidoff, the blend combines elements from the core Davidoff Winston Churchill and the Davidoff Winston Churchill late hour lines. Uses an Ecuadorian wrapper, San Andreas Negro binder, and a combination of Dominican and Ecuadorian fillers. If memory serves me correctly, I believe these are running $32 a piece. So let's hope it's good. Now, every year these are different. This blend is different than last year's. Last year's Winston Churchill limited edition wound up at number two for the year on my year end list. That's uh, not too bad, but this is a different animal. So let's get right to it and see how it is. The Winston Churchill limited edition 2022. Now, because this is a Perfecto, it's very hard to show the density, but look at there. We'll do it. There it is. Has an average feel in the hand. It's not actually very weighty. Now, what I'm going to try to do is take off as little as possible. Of course, I do have a decent draw i mean look what you're drawing through that is literally like a straw at the end and lighting it will be the biggest challenge so far Let's see if we can get it just Honestly, it's light up. You have citrus peel and leather. That is, and of course, look what we've got done so far, how far in we are. And as it goes up, I'm hoping it'll transition into better things. But right now, there is citrus peel and leather, and that's it. So we'll have to wait and see how it progresses. First third. I told you what I did at the beginning that every year this is a different blend. And you can look back on this foreshadowing because what was Tim hinting at? This is not in any way like last year's version. I'm not sure why they took such a big turn, but they did. What you have is citrus peel, light apricot, very light brown sugar to accompany the apricot. A very chewy nutmeg, very thick, very chewy, and a lot of it. There's some cashew notes to go along with that nutmeg that helps the chewiness. And uh, leather and black coffee. There's very little pronounced sweetness. Uh, the apricot is sweet per se. But look at the other notes around it that have plenty of room and time to fight it off. Citrus peel, nutmeg, cashew, leather, black coffee. The finish is uh, 
hints. You know, if you stretch your imagination like I can, I can get hints of apricot, but that's it. Mostly it's nutmeg and leather with average lingering black pepper. Nothing to write home about. But uh, uh, it's, it, it's, it's just so different than last year's, which right out of the gate was very impressive. For me, this is not impressive. I'm rating first third 88. It's just not anything at this point that I would want to have again. Big change from last year at this point. So uh, can it make miraculous comeback and changes? Let's find out. end of the second third and the answer to the question can it come back is no you have a perfunctory head bob of the apricot as it walks by or runs by and then you have an onslaught of nutmeg leather and black coffee if anybody thinks i take pleasure in giving you this report know that I purchased these cigars for review. It's rather painful if you want to know the truth. It finishes a drop of apricot, leather, nutmeg, and improved lingering black pepper. Okay? But a cigar is just nothing like I expected or hoped or like last year for the second third I would rate it 85 and uh, it, it we, we this section was the fattest section of the cigar so it should have given the best cross section and mix of flavors and it's just hasn't delivered for me but let's see how we wrap it up and then somehow hope it improves Well, we're down to the end. <laughs> so let's wrap it up. All right. Because we're getting into the smaller ring gauges, the uh, apricot, I could detect it a little more. You still have citrus peel, leather, nutmeg, and black coffee. The uh, strength of the cigar is medium. It's, uh, I don't even know if I've even mentioned that, but it's never changed. It's been medium the whole way. Finish. There's light apricot and nutmeg and light leather with above average lingering black pepper. The cigar made just a, a little improvement. Uh, I like the fact that I could detect the apricot a little more so I'm going to raise it to 86. It's not still not anything that, that impressed me. But uh, I um, just don't get this one. And, you know, Davidoff fans will probably make fun of this review. But uh, did you make fun of the one last year? You agreed with it, I'm sure. Because it was a good cigar this is not a good cigar let's just face facts it's not good the overall score is 86.33 kind of speaks for itself how i feel now why don't you just contrast that with last year's cigar that was 95.33 nine points isn't that much is it just didn't, didn't uh, appeal to me. I'm sorry. But I'm a reporter. I'm reporting what I get. So that'll do it. The new Davidoff Winston Churchill Limited Edition 2022. 86.33.